the hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You've got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats, and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan, sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willie was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Sandcastle. Right, Tig, where shall we When I was little, I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. 
Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tech! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. Mmm! Yuck! Sand? There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sandcastle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <laughs> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape? Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. I wore my favourite wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Really? Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. Oh, she is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. 
right. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelled like fried socks. My head itch. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. It's Willie in the jungle. Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get this scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Teg, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see. Now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat scarf in the jungle house. Really? I told Mummy and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scarf by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smell to fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on, Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. 
He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Can we ask Dobbin? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee.